What are you doing, girls? Ah, uh, yes, the joys of rescue parenthood. So it seems that I've been able to actually locate a Nintendo Switch via Facebook Marketplace, so we'll see how the adventure goes trying to bring it home. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I am taking a friend with me to make sure that safety is first. But it seemed like a good deal, and we're going to swing by Best Buy and GameStop and see what kind of outrageously scalped profit margin prices we can pay for some accessories and some additional games. I do want to pick up Little Nightmares 2 this week, but it doesn't come out till the 11th, so I'm going to see what else kind of jumps out there as being, I don't know, interesting for now. Alright, so Facebook Market Adventure Play Facebook Marketplace Adventure Time is complete and I have returned with my paper bag of goodies. So I'm hoping I got everything that I'm supposed to have. Uh, again, I'm new to the Switch, so I'm trying to figure it all out here. Everything seems to be in good condition and working order. It does need to be cleaned up a little bit, so let's uh let's move over to the kitchen table and take a look and see what we got. Alright, we're gonna use the back of my dirty mouse pad here to uh lay things out so I don't scratch up the table any more than I already have. Don't need her having any more reasons to be less pleased with my gaming habits and such. All right, so first, first things first. So we got the switch itself. So there's the camera, hello camera. And uh, it's a little dirty, but everything seems to be in working order. Um, I've gotten about as far as connected to the Wi-Fi, make sure it didn't get banned or anything like that and make sure that it charged, it, that it did. It is a little loose on how the Joy-Cons connect, but I'm not too worried about that as I plan on playing dock mode most of the time. I just gotta be careful with that little button that releases things. But other than that, I think it's in good shape. And all the memory was good. I formatted it, wiped it. It was able to log in with my own little account thing. So just kind of moving on from there. Get that out of the way. And actually that's bright as heck. Sorry, everybody. All right, next I got a filthy HDMI cable that we're gonna be not using at all. So this is kaput, but at least it was included. Just throw that over there. The reason I wanted the switch big versus the light was the dock. So clearly for wanting to hook it up to displays, hook it up to a capture card, this was what was the big hold up for me and what was so difficult to find. Again, a little dirty, but we'll clean it up here in a minute and take a look at everything after I wipe it all down. So there's our dock. And then, paper bag adventure continues. Got our little power supply. It's a little scuffed, but it's power supply, whatever. It goes under the desk, blah, blah, blah. And then a little USB-C connector that I believe goes to the dock and then this plugs into that. But we'll figure it out. But I was able to just plug this into the switch. And I know this seems pretty remedial probably for people who know what's going on. But again, I'm new to this, so we'll figure it out. So power supply, good. And then almost to the end, the little, I guess this is the little thing for the Joy-Cons that acts like a controller. But again, my monkey paws, this is probably not going to get too much use out of me. And then we have the two little wrist strap things to turn the Joy-Cons into little controllers for, I guess, Mario Kart or something. So that's what came in the bag. That's what I got on Facebook Marketplace, Disaster Fun. Um, I feel like I got a good deal. I got it for right at about 200 bucks. So seems better than the refurb price at GameStop. I didn't have any other stocks to trade in, so they didn't have any stock to sell me, so fair enough. All right, let's see what we got at the store. All right, so I had asked everybody on the short yesterday what I should keep an eye out for and where I should start as far as accessories and games are concerned. So taking a look at the responses kind of initially when I was out shopping, this is what I started with, but apparently I need to go run to the store and pick up Mario Odyssey, Paper Mario, and Link's Awakening today. So don't judge me too bad, but as a complete noob, here's where we started. So got memory card, I grabbed the 256 gigabyte SanDisk card that is rated with the UHI thingy, whatever, high speed, write something recommended for Switch. So, why is it still defocusing? Stop. There we go. So it's recommended for the Switch or the Switch Lite. So we'll see how that does. So this should be enough space to get started. So I've been told. Picked up an extra AC adapter slash mobile charging thing so I can have a car charger as well as a charger to play it in uh, handheld mode whenever I'm in bed because I'm lazy and don't want to keep moving stuff around. 
picked up a Pro Controller just because I heard for things like Splatoon and other games, the motion sense is good, as well as it, it's got a real good build quality is what they were telling me, and I had a few friends recommend it as well. And then, move this stuff out of the way. I grabbed a um, kind of basic little plastic shell case, but it said it was dockable. So it's got three pieces, but it's supposed to be thin enough to fit in the dock still, so I don't scuff up the unit too much. So we'll see if that's actually the case or not, pardon the pun, or I'll just either toss this out or take it back. So here's fingers crossed. And then as far as kind of keeping everything together, grabbed a cheap little rocket fish case thing at Best Buy. They were on sale for like nine bucks yesterday. So we'll see if this is good enough to just kind of hold the pieces together when kind of running and gunning. And then for everybody's overwhelming response, um, screen protector. So I grabbed a tempered glass screen protector, kind of basic one for now, just because it's what they had at the store. Didn't feel like waiting on Amazon. I was being a little impatient. So we'll see if I can get this applied correctly. Um, I've never been good at these. I always get bubbles under them. And then starting with games, I grabbed a copy of Immortals Phoenix Rising because it looked like a little God of War hack and slash game and somebody at the store said it was decent, so we'll see if it is. Otherwise, I still have the receipt. Pray for the best. Um, I grabbed Trials of Mana because I was a huge fan of Secret of Mana and the original Final Fantasy games, and this looked to be kind of like an updated, refreshed version of that. And I did see the Mana Collection, so I'm probably going to pick that up at some point just out of pure selfishness and childhood wonder. Uh, just so I can replay those. And then, per overwhelming response, I initially found Animal Crossing and then Pokemon Sword with the uh, Expansion Pass. So I'm going to try these out as well. I played the crap out of Animal Crossing on GameCube back in the day, and everyone's saying this one is just as good, if not better. So I hope you're right. Um, I'm hopeful. But yeah, that's kind of where we started. So I'm going to try and put all this stuff together, and then I'll show you how it turned out. Alright, well I seem to have defeated the evil screen protector boss and got all the smudges off, cleaned it up with some lens wipes, and then um, a couple little scratches on the back. There's like a little one in the front, but all in all, not too bad. I like the way that the case fits on it. However, it explicitly says dockable clear case. This is bullshit because that's about as far as it goes. You can push all you want. And I don't want to break it. So, yeah, we're getting about that deep in there, guys. $13 case. You get what you pay for. It feels fine once it's on, but, man, it feels like you're about to snap your switch and have applying it. So, do not recommend thus far. All right, quick update. After some deliberation, some internal monologuing, and some frustration with what I was finding online regarding alternative dock solutions for the switch, I, uh... Just tore this crap off. I like the way that the grips are for the Joy-Cons. It feels better, it feels kind of anti-slippy, but I'd rather use the dock and I'd rather not spend another 50 to 80 bucks on just a piece because I felt compelled to defend my $13 mistake, so. Well, I'm gonna go plug everything in, make sure that all the capture card stuff works and see if I can sort that piece out now. So, wish me luck. And uh, just like that, after some creative cable routing, tearing that stupid plastic dockable case off and uh, getting the Elgato capture stuff set up for the HDMI in to the Pro card, then using the HDMI out with the OBS screen projector to the in on the stream PC, everything seems to be up and working. I've been doing some uh, testing for audio purposes and it seems like each game has like a different audio setting I need to have the game at. Uh, don't, I can't really set the level, like set it and forget it. So it's almost like I need to test the kind of min-max, like where the mix of each game is uh, initially before playing, recording, and or streaming it just to try and get things balanced so it doesn't blow out anybody's ears, including mine. Uh, but other than that, I think everything is looking good. So now that I can't get on the eShop for another hour and 20 minutes or so uh, because it's down for maintenance, uh, I'm going to go ahead and run and pick up the... Link's Awakening, Origami, Super Mario thingy, and uh, there's one more. I'll rewatch the footage and remember momentarily. But thanks everybody for all the uh, pointers, and I, I'm looking forward to trying to make some Switch content as well. So if there's anything you guys would like to see, let me know. I'm going to probably start with Animal Crossing here shortly, but I do need to drop one last thing regarding that darn Evil Inside demo because I refuse to be defeated and terrified by something that I can't explain. So 
you already know I tore it apart. So here, I've got a bunch of spoilers for like what's to come in the full game because they left too much stuff in the demo. So uh, yeah, that's coming soon. So again, thanks everyone. Appreciate it. I appreciate all the early support and I uh, look forward to playing with you guys. You're on another platform momentarily. Stank out.